The alerts management window allows the user to configure predefined and user-defined alerts within the system. To access this window, go to Administration, Alerts Management. This will display the alerts management window in find mode. Here we can see a list of all the users that are currently within the system. At the top in the name field is where you can enter the desired name of the alert you are trying to search for or add depending on if you are in find or add mode. There are a few predefined alerts within SAP Business One already. You can scroll through the alerts by using the green navigation arrows located near the top. The alert that we will be taking a look at is the minimum stock deviation alert. This is a predefined alert in the system that will alert the designated users when items in the warehouses fall below their minimum inventory level, which is defined at the warehouse level for each item master record. It can only be defined for items where the Manage Inventory by Warehouse checkbox is selected. To activate this alert, we must check the active checkbox in order for the alert to be active within the system. You can also set the priority of the alert using the drop-down menu. Note that alerts with a high priority will be displayed in red with an exclamation mark in the user's inbox. Other alerts like the deviation from percentage of gross profit alert have two windows on the right called conditions and documents. These windows allow the users to specify which conditions they want met for the alert to trigger and for which documents they want covered by the alert. You can choose which users or user groups to assign the alerts to in either the Users tab or Groups tab depending on your desired choice. For our example, we are going to assign the alert to Jason Butler. The checkboxes to the right of his name indicate where the alert will appear. You can assign the alert to be sent internally or by email. For this demonstration, we will check the Internal Message checkbox. Note the same checkboxes that were assigned to Jason need to also be assigned to the Alert SVC user. Once you have selected the desired parameters for the alert, you can update the window. Now, when an inventory item falls below its minimum stock level, an alert will appear on Jason's screen, telling him that the specific item's in-stock quantity has fallen below the designated amount for the warehouse. When adding a user-defined alert, make sure that you are in add mode on the alerts management window. Now you can input the desired information in the name and priority fields of the alert. To use a user-defined alert, we need to select the corresponding query that will relate to the new alert. You can select your query by clicking on the Open Saved Query button and selecting the query you want. For our example, we will use the query New Customers. This custom query is useful for getting alerts when new customers are added into the system. Under the Frequency section on the right, you can designate how frequently you want the custom alert to trigger. For our query, it will be useful to set the frequency to every day because the query generates the customers that were added today. To get the most out of this query, it will be beneficial to set the alert to go off at the end of the day to make sure the alert captures all the information that was entered into the system on the current day. Then when we log back into the system on the next day, we will see the alert for any new customers that were added the previous day. The Save History checkbox will save a log of the alerts in the Messages slash Alerts Overview window if it is checked. If you do not want to log of the alerts, then leaving it blank will allow the new alert to overwrite the previous alert. Now make sure to assign the alert to the desired users or groups and do not forget to assign the alert to the Alert SVC user. To activate this alert, click on the Active checkbox under the Name field. When you are finished, click the Add button at the bottom of the window to add the user to find alert. Alerts management is an important functionality within SAP Business One that helps keep everyone up to date with important information within the company. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.